Thanksgiving, everyone. Welcome to the 2017 studio slash room tour. It's going to be a long video, so sit tight, have fun. Let's go over to the front door. So, da da da. So, when you walk in, uh, you are greeted with the main room here. Uh, when it originally began, there was popcorn on the ceiling. Uh, it was more of like a yellowy beige color. Um, it was a traditional ugly ceiling fan, so I swapped all of that stuff, cleaned it up, and it looks a lot, a lot better. So starting off on the right side here, you'll see my bedside table. Um, I've got an essential oil uh, doodad thing, makes the room smell nice. I've got my cash wallet. Uh, this is pretty nice. It's called Easy Go. It's a nice slim leather wallet. I've got pens and scissors and sharpies and stuff. Uh, headphones. I reviewed those if you want to check it out. The Aki uh, Bluetooth wireless headphones. Apple AirPods or EarPods, depending on my mood. Yes, I do have a checkbook. <laughs> Hardly use it, but yes. And uh, a Bible, because I do like to read the Bible when I can. Um, I got my bed here. <clears throat> And it's a bed, but um, one thing I do want to point out is this blanket right here. Highly recommend picking something like this up. It's um, from Home and Garden, and it's 100% cotton, and it's great in the summer. It's breathable, but still comforting like a blanket should be. So it's got the herringbone weave. Other than that, I have a uh, floor lamp here with a lift or not lift, a LifeX bulb, so it allows me to change the color temperature, brightness, etc. And it's pretty awesome. The lamp itself, I think, was like 100 bucks, but then the bulb was 60 so <laughs> it's kind of silly, but I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, another sort of shelving unit here has a lot less crap than it used to on it because I cleared out and gotten rid of a lot of stuff. Um, just a chess set that I've had for ages that I just kind of like. It's kind of fun. A miniature. <clears throat> very cute cacti. They're not growing very fast. I don't know... I don't know how long they're going to last or if they are still alive. I hope so. They're taking a really long time to grow, though. Got a small little box here, which I actually picked up from the art district in Asheville, North Carolina. Pretty cool. Um, I've got a tea set here, cast iron, love using this all the time, a um, nano block set of the, I can't pronounce it, what's it called again? Neuschwanstein Castle. I would love to visit it in person, uh, it would be a great place, I think, it looks really cool. Uh, i got a few Lego sets here from Doctor Who and the Chicago Sears Tower, okay. It's always going to be the Sears Tower. I don't care. Got a few rhinos here. Uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of rhinos from the uh, from my collection in the past. If you watched my last year's video, so the awkward rhino is still here. Got a little guy here that's just adorable. A felt rhino that my sister made. So that's cute. And then um, some other cute, fun things. Box Fox, Portal Cube. Got to have the fan for the summers. And this I'm really proud of because it's practically empty. Used to be packed full of crap, but gotten rid of a lot. Um, here, I've got a small book collection. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check out Strengths Quest and take the quiz. It'll give you like your top five strengths. It's surprisingly accurate. And it will kind of help you out and figure yourself out, kind of. Essentialism, also a pretty good book. Kind of helped me think about what is important and what I should be focusing on a little bit more. And that's kind of why I started to get rid of so much stuff. Because stuff kind of stresses me out, I realized. Oops. Uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Everybody's heard that book. I actually read it for a class, but it's a great book. Nonetheless, and I would recommend it. This one, uh, just super cute, honestly. It's just puppies. I mean, come on. It's adorable. 
so that makes me happy. Uh, these are the only actual CDs I own. Um, project, Winter in June. It's kind of like, it's a dude that beatboxes and plays flute at the same time. It's pretty unique and interesting. Uh, now these are all CDs that uh, my dad or my me and my dad and parents and friends have made. Um, so check it out if you want. It's endeavor.band if you want to see our band camp. Uh, I'm on a couple of these albums. I do play d the drums. So that's pretty sweet. Um, the Farmer's Rain is our very first album. Trash can. Nobody cares. My Electro Voice RE27 and D. Same mic stand as last and same cable. Um, however, I have added the Triton Audio Fet Head to replace my Joe Meek, which was a preamp. So this tiny little doodad adapter thing will take the fan and power and give you an additional 20 dB of clean gain because this broadcast mic is super power hungry. So I just want to get rid of the Joe Meek, get one thing out of the chain and just simplify the setup a little bit and that really helps out. Uh, just a table lamp. I don't know where you'll find it. I had it for like 15 years. So good luck. Gotta have the cacti. Still alive. I can keep that thing alive. It's awesome. My rhino. Everybody loves him. Uh, same setup. So kind of in the theme with Thanksgiving and getting rid of stuff is using what you have and you don't necessarily need to upgrade all the time. You can keep the gear as long as it works for you, keep using it, and we don't have to keep replacing stuff all the time. Um, the monitor, same one, uh, PA248Q, ProArt 16x10 monitor, calibrated out of the factory, works great. Uh, got my Sescom switch underneath there, um, AB switch, so I got my speakers out here, and then I can plug in my headphones here and switch in between them. Makes my life really, really much better. I like it. It's $20, but well worth it. Mobile Light G3 SD card reader, uh, micro SD card for my dash cam. Uh, just wanted to take some footage out of that the other day. I have the Kale a box switch commemorative keyboard, so I will be doing a review of that eventually. I have the Ninox Aurora. Super cheap, uh, but it's optical mouse and the tracking is really good, so I like it. Steel Series mouse pad, nothing too special. Um, I've been trying to drink a little bit more water, so I've got a one liter Camelback. A uh, Personas Audio Box 44 VSL for my interface. I recommend it, seems to work well. Uh, same old speakers, never changed them out, don't seem to need to. I'm not that picky about sound. Uh, up here, got some bass traps up as of a couple days ago. And then two art pieces from a local artist where I used to live. Uh, her name is Carol Hamilton, and it's kind of a really cool cold wax, cold wax textured work. So I really like it. It's awesome. I guess if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have framed them and put them up on the wall. I've got the same computer, so use this thing for five years. It's worked great. It's an Ivy Bridge 3770K with 32 gigs of RAM, 250 SSD, two two terabyte hard drives or something, I don't know, and then a 660 Ti. The uh, little filing cabinet, I believe, what is that called? The Eric from Ikea. The table is also from Ikea. That's just a natural pine when you get it. Um, that one is called, let me check, I've got a list. They've got weird names. So the table is called the Ingo and I stained it uh, gray and brown, mixed the two stains together and you kind of get that cool effect. And then covered with, with a polyacrylic uh, satin or matte finish. If you can find a matte, it's a little bit better, but I think I had to use a satin. And then I painted them white uh, just to finish the look. It looks really nice, I think. Looks nice and clean. Uh, the chair is in the Ikea Joachim. Again, same chair. Didn't seem to need to upgrade that. The shelving unit, that is the IKEA Ivar. 
It's also natural finish when you get it, um, just to pine. And again, I just stained it gray and put a, a nice matte finish on it and it works great. So the top shelf here, um, this is all sort of like empty boxes, miscellaneous stuff. Um, got the Yeti. I've been pondering swapping out my whole gear setup for the Yeti just to simplify the setup because it does have a headphone out and it would just work and make things really easy but I don't know the electro voice does sound better I do have to admit got a clamp here super useful to add a foam board I've got all my foam boards on the left side here to just kind of position a light reflector some ear tips not really sure a uh, pop filter great pop filter if you need one but the electro voice doesn't need one I don't know why I've held on to it I just don't know I feel bad it's a great pop filter so I guess if someone needs one maybe you should just tweet me and maybe I'll sell it to you ship it to you whatever speaking of which at the end of the video I will show you a bunch of stuff I need to sell slash get rid of because I need to clean this stuff up so this is my camera gear miscellaneous shelf so I've got all my lenses on the left, you'll find my 100 millimeter macro lens. This is the lens that gets me the most compliments. When people say something in my video, like, wow, your video looks fantastic. It's when I use this lens. Um, this one is the 18 to 135 millimeter. Good all rounder lens. A 50 millimeter prime, uh, f1.4, which is kind of nice but then I have a crop sensor so it doesn't work quite as well as I'd like. Uh, the 2 point or not 2.4 it's 24 millimeter. This is a great lens for walking around and then the lens I actually have on my camera right now which is the Canon 80D is the 10 to 18 millimeter. I've got a few lens caps, hoods, filters, uh, some bulbs to replace my old school lights and then I did get some LED lights but they're not quite as bright as my old school lights so I'm not quite sure what to do yet they're kind of useful as kind of like a side lighting occasionally um, but I can't really use them for main lighting got my camera battery pack and charger and then I have my anchor 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack I got my uh, Samsung T5 portable SSD. Great for editing on the go, super fast hard drive. Other storage options, SSD, USB drive. Um, every photographer needs clamps. Gotta have clamps. And then uh, just a little Rhino. I wasn't sure where to put them. I was thinking of throwing them in one of the boxes that I sell but you will have to convince me because he's really cute. And then every, every single photographer, videographer, whatever, needs to have a gray card. Very, very important. No matter what camera you have. Left side here, I've got my snacks. So they're really pitiful right now, kind of running low. But I have a few mints, <laughs> almonds. And this tea is actually pretty nice if you want something not quite as sweet as most drinks you find in America. Uh, these are pomegranate blueberry green tea. Very refreshing. Now this shelf has all of my tools that I use for videos. So I have the scale, I've got the decimal meter, a tape measure, calipers, uh, cleaning spray, and microfiber cloths. And then back here I have some bags and storage things for tripods, mics, um, and then my light uh, umbrella. Uh, this shelf on the left, this is working on basically. So this is the kale board I need to review and then this is a 60% build guide that I need to work on as well. I've got all the parts for that. This one is my shipping and packing shelf. So just bubble wrap and boxes and stuff. This box, I'm not going to go through it. It's all just cables and other miscellaneous electronic-y things. Um, this shelf got my IBM Model M. The um, HHKB Type S. Someone messaged me on Facebook and we did a little trade. 
So I'm going to do a sound test and comparison between this and the regular HHKB. Should be a fun video. This one, I've held on to it for a while now. Obviously, can't get it working. Got it at Goodwill for $2, but it's all Alps. And when I type on this thing, I gotta say, it beats Cherry Switches. They just, they really feel good. I would love to get this working, or, or even just harvest the switches and use them on another board. Here I've got a little hook for all my USB cables, um, some keycaps, other keyboardy things like keycaps and tools like soldering irons and key pullers and screwdrivers, switches, different things like that. Um, got the Vortex Vibe back there, White Fox, GMMK, first keyboard ever that started it all. <laughs> uh, the Real Force, I really like that keyboard. Uh, the plank, the minivan, uh, the core, the poker, HHKB, and a couple wrist rests. Oh, I'm going to probably do a dedicated video on this. It's going to be like 30 seconds or a minute long. Really short video. Just on the bubble tea keycap because it's super fun. Uh, what else? What else? This is just miscellaneous stuff, computer related. MacBook Pro box, obviously. Super boring tax and paperwork and school and boring. This is all Lego booklet manuals. <laughs> I've kept them for so long. This thing is completely filled with booklets. And I realize you can definitely just find scans of instruction booklets. But then I won't know all the sets that I own because all the pieces are mixed together. So, I don't know. I've just kept them, because I don't know what to do at the moment. I don't have time in the world to go through it. Now, I think that is about it. So, yeah. To end this video, I'm going to show you everything on the floor here. I want to sell, give away, trade, I don't know. I just need it out. I need to clear everything out. So. These, honestly, just send me a tweet. I'll send them to you for like five bucks or cost of shipping or whatever. Uh, the Falcon Z77, never used that keyboard. So I don't know if it's good or not, but it is for sale. Um, I have some really nice PBT die sub Korean keycaps. So those are for sale. The MKC aluminum case for the poker. Awesome case but I just got to get rid of stuff. <laughs> Ironically, these keycaps I was reviewing when I did the 2017 tour, but um, now I got to get rid of them. They're really funny, rubbery keycaps. Very col colorful. Expo's keyboard. Just reviewed this. It's a great keyboard uh, for an ergonomic layout, but I do have to get rid of stuff, so it is for sale. The Ducky Zero with Cherry MX Red. The uh, Rama, this guy is DOA, um, but the case looks great and there's Zilio, Zilio switches on this. If anybody wants to mess with it, uh, just let me know. I'll just send it to you for cost of shipping. I don't, I just don't have time and they've tried to send me multiple PCBs to get it working and it just doesn't, so. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the wrist rest. Anybody needs one. I also have a vintage keyboard here of the Apple M110. Made in Japan. If anybody would like to pick that up. Even includes the cable. Not that it will work with your computer, but yeah. The uh, Rode PF1 pop filter. <laughs> Obviously, I just picked that up now, but yeah, if you need one, got it. A uh, Backup Plus 4 terabyte. Uh, now that I have a NAS, I just don't need an external hard drive like this, so yeah. Um, also, the um, iFootage slider. It's a shark slider. Um, 
I just want to simplify my gear and it kind of complicates the setup for me. And I figure for these types of videos, it's better off I just get them out as fast as possible and don't worry about getting crazy epic slider shots. All right, so that is about it. That is the setup. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, even though it's a little bit long. And happy Thanksgiving to you if you are watching it on Thanksgiving or close by Thanksgiving. Don't get too crazy with gear and anything like that. That's why I've never swapped anything out, because you can get a video done with the gear you have most of the time. You don't need to upgrade all the time. You just got to get the work done. And that's what I've kind of learned over time. Hence the wallpaper, if you can see it. Minimize this. Enjoy the process. I'll, I'll put a link in the description of the original artist, but I added my own text over that uh, just to remind myself that you got to enjoy the process of working or learning or doing whatever you're doing if it is frustrating you. So, it's a good reminder. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. There will be links to all of the gear in the description. There'll be a kit uh, link as well, so it keeps everything nice and orderly. I forgot to talk about my tripods and lights. Um, I'm still using the old school Lowell Tota lights and uh, light stands. And then I have a mono price tripod and fluid head and then a Siri monopod which has been handy for those events or any other compact situations where I just want to get something really quick. All right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And tweet me, again, if you want anything that was on the floor there.